There it is. Marianne wrote in July 8th, 1964. Whatever. I didn't see that last bit. My name is Josh, aka the Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of my long form Let's Play of Tell Me Why by no Don't Nod Studios. These are the folks who actually made the Life is Strange series, if you're not familiar with them. Now, if this is your first time with the series, you know you can find a link to the playlist in the description down below. That's if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching live on stream, I appreciate having you here, of course. It's always fun to have folks to talk with and to interact with while I play. But of course, if you're also watching live and just lurking, hey, you know what? I appreciate having you here regardless and interacting with me do note as well you can uh, there are several commands inside and actually the command command will let you know what's available to you and you can have a list of various fun commands including the channel point blurps that are available to completely mess with my gaming always available to you for those who watch and watch regularly so with that said if you would like to join us live you can do so every monday and wednesday from 7 30 p.m until 10 p.m pacific standard time over at twitch.tv forward slash the biscuit eater hope to see you now with that said oh looks like we've got something coming i see it i see it and and come on blurp is my blurp down my blurp is down oh Well, it, uh, we're going to, I am sorry. Yes, this is live. This is in the recording, uh, but I want to see what's going on here. That should have, oh, it's on a cooldown, so I can't run it. Well, we'll, we'll run a different blurp just to make sense. Blurp may be down, folks. Um, let's see here. Let's do a really simple one. I'm not the only one who's been having this problem recently, but it's not. It's not everybody. Uh, okay. Yeah, it did not register the use of blurp. So. Interesting. I may have to do a little bit of uh, troubleshooting here. But I want to check one other thing before we go. Make sure it's not disabled in a different section here. It'll take me just a moment. Sorry about this, folks. Ah, looks like it may have actually been logged out. Okay, so we are going to very quickly Everything's enabled there. I'll enable that again. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. Let's go ahead and run a test. We all know what time it is. It's time to blame Cap. Okay, so it works from the blurb interface. 
And now let's try this. Okay. We have a problem. And no, it's not Cap's fault. So, folks, do not use Blurp. You will be wasting your channel points until I'm able to actually resolve whatever is causing them not to work. That makes me just a little sad. Weird, it was working on... Eh, oh, well. Okay, but... With all that random silence and all that fun stuff, and uh, maybe or maybe not, I'll remember to actually cut that out of the VOD. <laughs> Let's go ahead, shall we, and actually continue with the game. So we know the extension works, but for whatever reason, the channel points feature is not working. Here we are. That's right, we're heading to the cemetery. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Okay. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not right. far from the entrance. We're here to con confront Tessa. That's Looks right. Like a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? I feel like we did some of this already, but. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Probably just a mirror thing. Oh, what? Guess I can't go down that path. Yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. I'm not a big fan of cemeteries, personally. I understand the concept behind them, but. There's a memory here somewhere. My mother made us come here all the time. It was so weird. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. Who is she? Oh, Who is she missing? Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared <coughs> of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean... Most parents are scared of losing their kids. Through the national outlawing of native religions and ways of life, much of our, much of our knowledge of the old ways of Tlingit spiritual practice have been lost. The lower two everlasting examples of the love and reverence we continue to show are departed in the tradition of our ancestors. Warning those who have journeyed to the other side. As love transcends all boundaries, the passing of a clan member is an event felt throughout the community. The people come together to mourn a loved one and lift their opposite clan member's spirits. When an eagle is being mourned, the ravens shower love and strength upon mourning eagle clans. Likewise, when a raven is being mourned, the eagles are there for the ravens. After the service, it is customary for members of the opposite moiety to comfort the grieving family by bringing out their Atau clan-owned regalia 
They symbol symbolically catch tears before they hit the ground and come from grieving clan members with support. I didn't want to go back The 40-day party is observed 40 days after the passing to pay respect to the departed. Some believe that this is a more recent tradition. Family members organize a shared meal where a fire dish, one plate of food, is burned to nourish and comfort the spirit of the departed. One year or more from the passing, a kuekse, a potluck, is held to first mourn and then celebrate the life of the departed. It is hosted by the clan of the deceased. This is to honor the departed clan member through a traditional ceremony, show appreciation, and pay debts to the opposite moiety who supported the clan during time of mourning. Can I look at the weird two dots there? Does not look like it. Okay. No dice. Wait, is this the one we called the Big Crookie? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Norrell's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or see one green? Yeah. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Yeah, big crookedy. No luck on my end. You? Nothing. Tyler? Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. this one. Okay. Yazzie. Why does that sound familiar? Yazzie Trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he always blasts the horn for us. There's one over, two over here I didn't check. Guess again. Hey, okay. one over, over here I didn't check. That's the one with. No, just a whole lot of nothing. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Of course, it's literally the last one, and that's not even on. That was wasn't even on purpose. You really have to go, Eddie. You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. You try so hard. I barely remember. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive. So, I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 
Now see, for me, this the concept of a gravestone and my dead body just being inside a hole in the dirt. And very much more, uh, bless you. Cremate me and, uh, be done with it. So I'm assuming down that way, but... Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> uh, just how does one type like a T-Rex? You know, uh, almost kissing the keyboard. Like, it makes you look like you got tiny baby arms. Like a T-Rex. Never change, Michael. Anyway, as grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. I spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. Pff, no, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bold goes double for food. <laughs> Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinket Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. Well, this is Canada, and so... I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We it's have the even worse. That. What they found... Oh. Yeah. Oh. What's the story behind oh. the Clinket Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> Lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about yeah, ethics. Yeah, well... Easy. You just but, like I said, especially ethics. after what we've recently discovered God, about what happened in Canada yeah. with uh, the native I mean, populations. It still happens, but not as much. We have the elders mm. to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. Oh, hey, it worked, Artemis. That's interesting, because just a second ago, it wasn't working. Um, Cap, you want to try another one? We may have got, we may have uh, fixed the issue. She's always been jealous, because I got the looks. Yeah, but I got the brains, so. Oh, man, you two are such a pair. 
Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. Anyway, girl, so, I know you're in it right now. I guess we fixed it. Really Sweet. Gina's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Hey. Heaven. <laughs> delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. All right, let's head off to go to Mama's grave. <laughs> That's probably going to be wonderful memories. <laughs> yeah, added some new blurbs there. But we're really enough at Artemis a, a bit ago. And by the way, thank you for joining. Um, doing really well. Uh, right now we're playing... Uh, tell me why we're about... What? I want to say... Well... I think we're on our... This is our fourth session. Um, it's a pretty heavy duty uh, game. It's a, it's a little bit more on the. Uh... You Indeed. No. Indeed, extra life for the win. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Yeah, it's uh, basically a game, but same folks who made uh, Life is Strange, and again with the we kind of the semi supernatural storytelling elements. In this case, these are twins who can speak in each other's minds and apparently share memories. Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. Oh. A few steps in. Yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment to I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. So for those who missed that part... I was supposed to get over this brown thing, but... I really wish you could go to visit him once you... Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Oh, we're gonna do dual memory, dueling memories again. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible, but I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. So now we got shoes. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna. I'll be back soon. So all which right? do we choose, chat? Promise. One of them's gonna tear them apart. One of them's gonna get them closer together. Hmm. We've gone with. Tyler's intuition the last few times. We'll go with Allison's this time and run the risk of I'll be back soon, alright? Promise. I'll be back soon, alright? I'm gonna come see you every week and we'll talk with our voice. Yeah, I think so. I think you're I'm Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kid. About to start. I'm sorry. Okay. So Yay. Back. I got so caught up in everything that you really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday. But not today. So yeah, um, so, Artemis, I, I don't know, are you familiar at all with this game, or have you played before? Because Allison didn't visit, which would have given a wedge to cement that memory. Yeah, I think you're right. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, 
rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's brilliant. It's yeah, it's the same same company. Uh, basically, the story goes that you had these two children who were brought up in a remote area by their mother, uh, who is clearly on the run from something. Uh, the their twin girls at the time, uh, Tyler, was starting to transition, or starting to come into realizing who he truly was, and so there was one night where he had his sister Allison cut his hair to become a little more who he was. And he went to show his mother who turned a shotgun at him, chased him to the pier. The sister stabbed her to stop her. She fell into the water and drowned. The brother took the rap for it, went to Juvie, and then on to... Uh, an, uh, basically, on to a uh, youth home to, to basically recover and eventually transition. Uh, they are discovering that the mother was actually reading up on transitions. Now, this was in the 90s note, so pretty big thing there, but she also had a friend, Tessa, who was trying to convince them to go to a camp for troubled children, i.e. a re-education camp. And so we're chasing after Tessa to get to the bottom of the rift that came as a result of that. Some pretty heavy stuff. Marianne being their mother. No. <laughs> I forgot how hard Marianne took it when Eddie's mom died. Well, we were only four. But yeah. Yeah, very much so. She was one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off all Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but. No. It was years later. It may have been years later, but it doesn't mean it didn't have a cumulative effect. If she lost the people who helped her, slowly but surely it would have eaten away at her. I think down there is where we need to go, so I want to go up here first in case there's anything over in this section. Oh, no. Okay, it's not Tessa. Want to avoid Tessa initially. Oh. Hi. I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store, Allison, right? Yes. And you're um it starts with a K, right? Kendra. Don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. I, I hope this isn't rude, but where's that <laughs> accent from? Georgia. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's got to be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. We came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then, well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Yeah. Do you wanna go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet, like a frozen desert. Thousands of miles from family. Uh, but these days, I finally started Delos, to see Alaska, the way just outside of Juneau. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I. Or Delos Crossing, excuse me. I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's. Uh, that's got to be hard. Yeah. 
Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mama's been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but you have any thoughts? Ooh, it's a choice. Maybe you could travel around a bit, see what else is out there. Meech always wanted us to go to Cyprus. Might be nice to see that one through, even if I do it without him. It sounds like you've only got good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. See, that's, this is the kind of storytelling I really appreciate and enjoy. It's little things. That that conversation may have zero repercussions. Mortar her, I hope or? I'll see you around. Okay, let's continue on. See if we can. I don't think we're gonna track down Tessa here, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately. July 8th, 1964. Whatever. I didn't see that last bit. Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? Expecting to see. What are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Ah, yes, I did as well, or at least I submitted. We'll see what comes of it. When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. <laughs> I'm not going to read that. Just fall apart would be not in brain, but I, I, I understand. <laughs> I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I, I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? Look, 
I'm sorry I didn't tell you the whole story back in the store, but I didn't want you to, to Enough with the excuses. What the hell happened to her? Why'd you turn your back on us? Your mom was always just barely getting by. And over the years, she burned a lot of goodwill. It got so bad, no one was willing to hire her. And the stress of that, well, it, it took its toll. I tried to help, but she pushed me away. She pushed us all away. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. I couldn't let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Running just around with Stan Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man. I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. Look, well, we finally get lunch at Tessa's. They were just teasing us. coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. We're gonna leave or are we gonna get it to do any more? Okay. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tess is thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are going to be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. <laughs> awkward as hell. I want to go back. I didn't get a chance to check everything out, so I want to check everything else out. Or leave, because I, I get the feeling that there's going to be a figurine or something here that I haven't picked up, so... we will take a little bit to do that before we... before we clean up, but... Um, yeah, Artemis, honestly, that is one of those rare things that as a DM, if, if, especially if you can make it a good one, part of the reason why um, I also offered um, if there was an opportunity and we had the right group of people. 
it is really fun to, you know, to be the one to show somebody just how much fun uh, D&D or really any RPGs can be with the right group of people. I guess we can't go back. So, I totally hear him. Oh. Okay, so, we have, I don't have a choice. Heading back this way. Ah, that's why they wouldn't let me down this particular trail beforehand. That's what this is. Okay. Now I see where we are. Anything over here? No? Okay. Still waiting for the inevitable bear attack that they threatened us with. Basically, wait till we get a save point. Not then. a bad view, right? Yeah, I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. Which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait. Are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. You were just dealing with what happened the way that you needed to, all right? As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey, wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. Famous so last words. I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but she worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa, or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... she... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? still feels like there's something missing, right? You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. It's over at the end of a chapter here. You guys too? Oh, not quite. I bet you're gonna have a save point. <sighs> I'm gonna fall Lost asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey. Whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. 
Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. What the hell? Okay, I'm going to pause it here, and we'll just continue on uh, with the next episode. But for real quick, we're going to go ahead and switch over to this view, and I'm going to go ahead and end out this particular episode. So for those of you watching, thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end up the YouTube recording here. Uh, of course, if you are watching on YouTube, I ask that you help me out by making sure that you click on the like button and that you comment on the video. If you co comment on the video, that helps me with the YouTube algorithm. I do try to make sure to respond to every comment that comes through. At least for now, because there are so few. So, additional comments would be wonderful. Um, as well, make sure you click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and click the notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos come up on the channel. And I do try to post new videos every single Monday through Friday. That's going to be the VODs from these particular sessions that we have every Monday and Wednesday. As well, the subscriptions do help me out on the YouTube side. They're completely free, and they're getting me closer to my goal of 100 subscribers, which will allow me to have a custom URL for the channel to get that much easier for people to find me. But with that all said, again, I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, if you would like to follow any of my other, other social media channels, do make sure you click the uh, the About Us section below uh, or check the notes in the doobly-doo. All my various social medias are there. And again, just uh, as I've been noting before, and as you can see in the surrounding sections here, we are collecting donations for the Extra Life charity. Uh, every every single donation goes directly to Dornbecker uh, OHSU here in Portland, Oregon, which helps out with a local children's hospital. It's really trying to do its best to help out children in need. Uh, specifically right now, they are one of the main uh, centers in the area for kids who are dealing with COVID. Uh, and they are servicing people in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. So if you can help out, we really do appreciate it. Any amount that you offer is helpful and will go towards that particular need right now. Uh, but with that all said, thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And until I see you next time, come on, lovelies.